another nice one. Yep. Nice. Oh, there he goes. Got him. Got him, guys. Got him. Feels like a nice one, too. Okay, not bad. Not bad, guys. Riley, you're about to get bit, buddy. I know. Look at that. Look how thick they are. Really nice. These are really good eating, guys. If you guys never try yellow bass, I prefer these over the white bass. The meat's a lot more firmer. They just taste better for whatever reason. Could be because of the lakes. Oh man, look at that. Really beautiful. Beautiful fish. The way you can tell these from white bass is uh, yellow bass, they tend to have uh, more solid lines, kind of like a striper. It's more broken down here, and you can kind of see a, a yellow hue to them. You know, more of like an olive, darker gray up here. Real beautiful fish. Let's go catch some more. And that red body scared it away. <laughs> <laughs> they like it small. Yeah, this is pretty oh. small. Man. Yeah. Like real small euro looking like that. Because you have on a three mil with a, just a little... A little red maggot right all right guys you know what? i forgot to plug in my mic all the way through so i got nothing but static so i'm just gonna do a voiceover for the next portion right here right here i'm just uh, taking a pocket knife i'm just descaling the yellow bass that we caught earlier we're pretty hungry right now it's uh close to noon we're hungry and i'm not even gonna flay them to go to or anything these are small enough and they're tasty enough and the skins are pretty good so see so i'm just taking a knife just remove the scales very simple to come off and then I went back in to the hub and check it a couple times just see if I can get uh, some more uh, yellow bass since nothing I'm just gonna head back out and go out here right here I'm just explaining about what I did with the uh, with the yellow bass just saying uh, I'm cooking the yellow bass right here descaled it leaving it whole just to show you right here I'm just gonna set it down right here and then we're just gonna watch get to tackles cook some catfish that we caught a weekend before and here is a uh, little man he's just playing in the snow making snow angels or whatever just having a lot of fun out here so bring your kids out it's a lot of fun for the kids i asked him what he's building and he said he's making a mountain so look at that review and then here get to tackles finish cooking some of the catfish i'm just gonna take it right into the hub and this is uh it's coach outdoors right here this is one of my cousins He's gonna have the first bite. And he's gonna, he's like, mmm, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna take it out to the little man, and the little man comes up right on time. He's looking at the cafe, he's like, man, it looks pretty good. He takes a bite. I asked him right here, he's like, hey, how does it taste? Big thumbs up for approval. He's like, yeah, pretty good. So right here, I'm just walking up to get to tacos right now. He's putting some more catfish into the frying pan. Man, only if you guys can smell this. Oh, by the way, this is a short lunch Cajun, so this is one of my favorite batters out there. And I'm just looking at it, Take, taking a bite. I was like, mm, oh my gosh, it is so good. I was like, hey, get the tacos. You gotta try some before I finish it off. He's like, hold on, buddy. I'm gonna eat them right now. So he takes one piece right here, takes a bite. Oh man, he is in heaven. Oh, look at that. It's so good that uh, its coach is coming out right now. I'm looking for some more catfish right here. He's like, hey, you got some more catfish? I was like, heck yeah, right here, bro. He takes another piece. And he's like, man, this is heaven. And right here, I'm just uh, taking the yellow bass that I descaled earlier. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to batter it up. Right here, I'm just taking it whole like this. It's, it is a little slippery right now because you removed all the scales. So, into the bag it goes with the Cajun batter. Shake it up, shake it up. Mm, shake that booty. Yeah. All right. And now, uh, this is what it looks like. Bam, look at that. Look how tasty it looks. It's got to look even better when it once it's uh, fried up. So, here it goes. Right into the pan. Mm -mm -mm. Only if you can smell this. We need smell of vision for sure, guys. There it goes. I put in the second one. I did set them for about 10 minutes on each side. Because I want them to be real nice and crispy and golden brown. And fingerlicious. 
finger licking good you know what I'm saying all right here it is I'm gonna check it out right here hmm just look at that just savor this moment right here mm -mm -mm. oh yeah look at that and now back to the video so I'm gonna explain a little bit more about the yummy delicious fish all right we got a nice freshly cooked whole yellow bass right here cooked on each side for about seven for about seven minutes the heat was a little too hot so but let's give it a try mm. nice white meat Mm. Mm. Got a whole bunch of fish coming in too. Super, super hot. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. We got a fish on. Come oh, on. it came right off. I'll match him up probably, man. It has that taste. With mm -hmm. a bitter taste to it. Yeah. I, li I like it. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Eggs. Oh, there's eggs in there too? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so good. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm just going to show you a few techniques that we're using. And it doesn't seem like it really matters today. Uh, the fish are real finicky today, too, so. This is one setup. Uh, you can use uh, two lines or two hooks in uh, Minnesota for ice fishing. So I'm doing a bottom with a little Cleo. And then about a foot up, I have my own hand tied little fly right here. So you want a heavy weight on the bottom. And then you can tip it with uh, waxies or plastics or whatever you want to. And then you just basically jig up and down and uh, throw a bite. And I'm using a scepter ultralight or actually and I'm using a scepter 31 inch noodle over here with a sienna we're good combo right here and the combo that's uh been working really, really good too is uh the hit lowers combo with the PC fun ICX reel with a three millimeter gold and a tip of a little waxy right here basically just finesse fishing dropping it down and just kind of giving it a little jig a little wiggle like this and wait until they bite another technique that's uh, working pretty good is uh, I'm also using another scepter rod right here this is the light this is the light with a spring bobber here from uh, from clam and I'm also using the squirrel tail right here you can use the chartreuse bead head or this is the, actually the gold bead head right here squirrel tail it's a uh, really good lure too the yellow bass are hammering these pretty good as well and again, if you want to, you can tip it with something if you want to. Otherwise, it works pretty good just as is. Hopefully that helps uh, on your next outing when you guys are targeting uh, yellow bass. And uh, let's go catch some more. Thanks guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something about yellow bass ice fishing. Basically, just come out here. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy the lake. The fish are all over here. So there's no spot that there's no fish. Come out here and have some fun with your family so hopefully you guys like this video make sure you like subscribe and as always follow your dreams follow your passions make it happen guys see you guys on the next video